Hey guys, Coach Sue with Physique Development. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the split squat. This is something I often hear people say they have a love-hate relationship, and I'm right there with you, but it is a great, great exercise for a multitude of reasons. One, it's really gonna be great for pelvic stability. We wanna be able to nail down that pelvic stability for a multitude of exercises, and this is going to be a great exercise to really practice that. Another thing is it challenges both legs in different positions, which is really cool to be able to challenge your body in that way. So when we're looking at split squats, we can look at the regular variation is just gonna be splitting our legs and being able to go down and that can be considered a split squat. You'll also see people either have their front foot elevated or their back foot elevated or on something like a wedge. And there's a different reason for each of these, but before I go through the different variations, I'm gonna talk through some things that you should keep in mind with doing a split squat in general. First is we wanna have our feet around hip width distance apart. When we do split our legs and we go ahead and go into that split squat, like I said, we wanna keep our pelvis um, in the same and stable position. We don't want any rotation, any dipping to either side. We wanna have that stable um, pelvis. We also wanna make sure we're maintaining a neutral spine here and keeping a neutral head position. So we don't wanna be looking like this or like this. And as we go down, what we really wanna think about is driving this back knee down. We're not thinking about driving it any other place than straight down. This front knee, we're gonna be driving into the floor, but for different variations, you can also think about driving that forward. So as I go through this, And of course, with most exercises, and this can be looked at as a very good exercise outside of compound exercises, but we wanna make sure we're keeping our abdomen engaged there. So when we're looking at the different variations for a split squat and what we're looking at, um, I don't wanna put any specifics on it. I don't wanna say, hey, if you put your back foot elevated, it's only going to be glute focused. If you put your front foot elevated, you're getting quad focus. It's really gonna be looking at the mechanics of your body and what's gonna be best suited for you. Playing around with these, playing around with your positioning, taking video of you performing this exercise and being able to take steps from there. I will say that if you have your front foot elevated, this is gonna be great for beginners because it is going to take some of that weight off of that front leg. And when we're looking at that, you're kind of changing exchanging some range of motion for extra tension um, on that and that's okay just to be able to get that range of motion that's going to be best for you without having um, more on you because it's going to feel a little bit lighter on this leg um, if we're going to go ahead and do a back foot elevated we do want to make sure we're on the balls of our toes or balls of our feet here we don't want to be completely flat on our foot that's going to cause instability um, be able to really drive into that and with this a great thing like I talked about the beginning is you're challenging both legs in different positions. So with this, I'm challenging my front leg right now with this elevated. My front leg is going to get more glute because I'm making it more hip dominant as I go down. This is very hip dominant for this leg. For this leg, you want both knees to bend. I see sometimes people keep this leg too straight going down and that's going to actually put undue stress on your psoas um, and not as much on your rec fem or stress on your rec fem that's not good instead of actually challenging the rec fem, which it's great because not a lot of exercises challenge that rec fem in the lengthened position. So being able to have bend in both knees, and that's also going to help that rec fem be able to push into your hips here and go back and make that very hip dominant. Now the great thing about the wedge is it's really going to help with ankle mobility if you struggle with ankle mobility at all, being able to give you a little bit more. So when we're thinking about um, hamstring to calf. If you can't quite get there as you go down, being able to have a wedge here can help with getting you closer to that calf to hamstring. So we can play around with different variations, but at the end of the day, we want to think about the basics of this movement. Like I talked about keeping your pelvis stable, keeping your abdomen engaged, making sure both knees are bent, making sure you're on the ball of your feet, you're pressing down through the floor. Those are going to be the basics that you want to nail down and then being able to play through. Okay. What's the difference with my front foot elevated? What's my problem with the split squat that I'm struggling with? And then being able to note, okay, what variation is gonna be best for me?